That was excellent. Hi everyone, my name is Kwame Uku. I'm the founder of Cagletics and the creator of the Cagnos Data Analytics Online Training Course. In this video, I'm going to present to you one of my students. Now, Annie has been a student of mine for the past two months and she has created an amazing presentation using data she found on Kaggle. Now, Annie recently graduated from college and she's looking for work in the data analytics field. So if you are looking for a young and talented and extremely motivated young lady to join your team, reach out to me at kawuku26 at gmail.com. All right, so let's go ahead and enjoy her presentation. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Anne Bugwa and today I'll be taking you I'll be taking you through some of the visualizations I created using IBM's late payment histories dataset that I found on Kaggle.com. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. So this dashboard seeks to analyze IBM's late payment histories with the aim of predicting if and when invoices will be paid. I used IBM Cognos Analytics version 11.1.5 to create these visualizations. So this dataset says that IBM has been financing some of its low-paying customers' invoices to meet its present and immediate cash flow needs. From our first visualization here, we can see that the country with country code 818 records the highest number of late days which means that customers in this country take the longest time on average to finalize their payments. Moving on to the second um, chart, zero represents customers who pay on time, while one represents uh, customers who pay late. Therefore, country code 391 has the highest number of customers who paid on time, while country code 406 has the highest number of customers who paid late. From our scatter chart, we can, uh, looking at the trend, we can conclude that it takes more days to settle a high invoice amount as compared to a lower invoice amount. Also here we can see that IBM has two ways of billing its customers, first through paper and second through um, electronic means. And we can see that paper is the most common uh, type of billing uh, in IBM. Also, we can see that an invoice amount of more than $60 is more likely to become a late payment as compared to an invoice amount of less than 60. And the number of customers that are anticipated to pay late from this chart is less than those IBM anticipates to pay on time. As you can see that those who are anticipated to pay on time are 1,589 customers, while those anticipated to pay late are 877 customers. So this concludes my analysis for this data set. Thank you. That was excellent. Annie knows how to capture data, she knows how to prepare the data, and she knows how to present the data graphically using charts and reports uh, within the Cognos Analytics tool. Annie is also able to present her work. In my school, I teach you how to become a data analyst and I use the IBM Cognos Analytics tool. I also teach you how to present because it is one thing understanding the technology and it's a whole thing entirely being able to present it. As you see, Annie is able to uh, present and she's able to capture it digitally. So if you are working in a sales department for a software company and you're looking for someone to shoot your marketing videos or to shoot your presentations or even train other employees, Annie will be an excellent member of the team. Taking my course is a, an incredible way to get your foot in the door in corporate America because you are going to understand what it means to be a data analyst, right? Uh, I teach reporting, I teach data modeling, I teach some SQL, I also teach you how to present your work. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, find me on LinkedIn, join my Facebook group. I'm going to be doing some live streams soon, so stay tuned, okay? I hope you enjoyed her presentation and thank you very much. Bye-bye.